Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today I'm bringing you guys a long overdue Clash of Clans mailbag. So you guys know the rules by now, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube comments section, wherever, and if you ask a good question, you could be featured in the next video. So I already picked out a couple of questions today, as well as on your screen, you can see I did a lot of Go Wee Wee raids, so make sure you guys check those out, and yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the questions. Question number one, Giovanni Bimbella asked, what is your worst fear regarding Clash of Clans? So I could pick something like having all of my wizards being blown up by a giant bomb or something like that, but I guess for the game as a whole, worst fear would be that they release some sort of update that absolutely kills the game. And I know a lot of people don't like the most recent update, probably the most hotly contested update to date, but the game is still fun and easily still playable. But let's say they added something like loot is cut in half or maybe they added something like 21 or 28 day build times if it got to something ridiculous like that that is probably going to be my worst fear or like if they announced level 50 or level 60 heroes then the community would probably be an uproar over that so something like that probably my worst fear but i don't think it'll really happen because they know if they did that then the game would uh, go downhill pretty quickly all right danny hey life asked who do you think will win the world cup and if you guys watched that Germany vs. Brazil beatdown the other day, I think I'm going to go with Germany. So I'm actually 25% German. Don't worry, I rooted for the USA when we played them, but they look like a well-oiled machine. And I know Argentina's good, but I think they're more focused around Messi. And even though he is the best player in the world, just like the Spurs showed the heat, even though you have the best player, sometimes the best team wins. And let me tell you guys, I know almost nothing about soccer or football, so my opinion means nothing. And Argentina might win like 5-0, to zero, but anyways, that's my pick. Go Germany, and we'll see what happens. Alright, question number three, Tom Franklin asked, Are you going to update your attack strategies now that the heroes can't be pulled? So this is a good question. I did a lot of guides, mainly focused around the fact that you had to lure out heroes. So my hog strategy guide, the core, the core part of that strategy was luring out the king, the queen, and the clan castle. And a lot of things have been changed now that you really don't have to lure them anymore. You still have to lure out clan castle troops for certain raids, but it definitely changed a lot. So I'll probably get around to doing some new guides soon. I'll definitely redo my go wee wee guide. I never did a formal guide for that, so I'll try to do a really in-depth like 15 minute video on it. But also, I'll probably start doing some different attack strategies, especially for Town Hall 9 and below. So now that Hogs aren't an easy 3-star anymore, I'll probably do a Dragon strategy. I'll try to redo Hogs, because you can still attack some bases with Hog Riders and have success. And then there's a couple other things that I'll probably check out um, and do videos on in a bit. So I'll try to do those some, sometime soon, probably when I get over my laziness. But yeah, that is the plan right now. So question number four, Football for Life asked, will you talk about low level rating with the update? So since you said low level rating, I'm just going to focus on people who are farming. So whether you're Town Hall 3 or you're Town Hall 10, I'm just going to talk about farming and how the hero update might have affected the type of bases you're attacking. So I feel like the change affected two different types of bases. And for one base, it makes it easier to steal the resources. And for the other base, it makes it more difficult to steal the resources now that you can't lure out the heroes. So let's go ahead and talk about the type of bases that I attack on my Let's Play. Generally, I like to attack bases where the mines and pumps are outside or they're behind one layer of walls. So now that the heroes have been changed in the past, Whenever I was raiding something, I always wanted to be sure that I didn't aggro the king or the queen. I wanted to make sure they didn't get the exclamation point above their head, because if they did, they're going to follow my troops all the way around the base and destroy them. They don't stick in a territory, or they didn't in the past, and it made it a huge pain for someone like me who was going for stuff on the outside. So now that the heroes have actually been changed, heroes only stay in a certain territory, and generally people have their heroes in the center of their base. So when I'm farming their mines and pumps or all the stuff on the outside, the heroes aren't going to do anything. And even if they shoot at one or two of my troops, they're just going to go ahead and run back to their territory. They're not going to run on the, around the base, try to destroy my archers, barbarians, goblins, whatever strategy you're using. They're just going to stay there. So in turn, that makes raiding mines and pumps a little bit easier with this update. On the other hand, for people who attack storages, this makes attacking someone's storages probably a little bit more difficult. So 
again people generally have their heroes in the center of their base as well as they generally have their storages in the center of their base so people nowadays really have been putting their heroes right next to the storages to act like a tower so let's say you break into someone's base you're going towards the center trying to steal all those resources the heroes are going to be a huge pain now because you can't lure them out before the raid you actually have to fight them at the gold storage the elixir storage or the dark elixir storage um so heroes can sort of play puppy dog to the storages now so if you're someone who's attacking storages probably Probably a little bit more difficult to get the resources but on the other side if you're someone like me attacking the mines and pumps it is probably a little bit easier so that's sort of my thoughts i guess on low level rating more so about farming and i'll talk a little bit more about the hero changes affect town hall nines and below in like clan wars um in a later video because there's a lot of stuff to talk about and i'll probably talk about that in like the strategy videos that i do all right next question Ari asked are you ever going to come out with a consistent upload schedule just wondering dot 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 so good question if you guys follow me on twitter last night i posted a picture i actually had to record a video in a walk-in closet because my house was so loud so again i'm still in college i live at home with my parents and it can get pretty loud sometimes so i can't always do videos because there's just crazy background noise so that's why my videos aren't always consistent and that's why sometimes i upload at like 11 p.m eastern time because that's the only time i can get peace and quiet um, and i'm not paranoid about someone coming in and making all this noise so yeah that's why things haven't been consistent i'm trying to get a new setup soon maybe move up to the top floor of my house so no one can like step above my room and make all this noise with like their feet so i'm gonna try to make some sort of consistent schedule soon i uploaded a video every day last week which which was actually really great and i'm gonna try to do more of that soon so at least every other day i'm gonna try for every day but no promises um and once i get a new like little situation a little office situation i'll let you know Jack Hansen asked, what do you plan to do when Clash of Clans is no longer popular? Continue other mobile games, become a YouTube gamer, hashtag ask Pat. So I've definitely thought about this, and I don't think Clash of Clans has really peaked at a game. It's getting more downloads than ever. It still is a ton of fun. They're adding new content every single month. So it's not something I'm always thinking about, but yeah, it is a good question. When Clash of Clans isn't as popular, what am I going to do? And I don't really have an answer right now. I've thought about playing other games on my channel, but currently right now, Clash of Clans is really all I want to play. I don't really play a lot of games. Right now, I play Clash of Clans, a little bit, a little bit of League of Legends, but that's pretty much it. So if I branched out into other games, I definitely have to open up a little bit and try to test some new stuff out. Maybe I could try to find some good mobile games to play on my channel. I'm sure there's a bunch of them out there but some games on mobile you just can't really put any youtube value into like if i played angry birds on youtube those would be the most boring videos ever so yeah i mean clash of clans really is just a great game for youtube because you can talk strategy and new content every month so i'm really hoping that it is popular for a long time but in the case that it, something crazy happens if they release level 80 heroes then i'm sure there will be a backup plan and i'll let you guys know as soon as that happens all right, final question, Cody Broman asked, when are you going to stream from Zero Cups to Champions League? So if you guys have been following me on Twitter or Twitch, I actually live streamed the last two nights, and they're sort of just random streams. I'm still testing a lot of stuff on Twitch, like my overlay, um, emotes, a lot of these like weird programs I'm using to stream. I want to make sure everything's working before I do any like official streams, quote unquote. But yeah, I'm getting really, really close to doing that Zero Cups to Champions League. I want to do it on a weekend, and I'm thinking I'm going to do it within the next two weeks. So yeah, I'm thinking some point in July, I'll definitely give you a heads up when I want to do it. Again, if you guys haven't heard me talk about it, I want to go from Zero Cups to Champions League in a single day, so it's going to be a pretty long stream, and I will definitely do a video a couple days in advance so you guys know when it's going to happen. I'll try to do it on a weekend and start at about 12 p.m. my time, and hopefully it'll be like a seven hour stream or something like that, and everyone will be able to see it no matter what time zone you're in. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this Clash of Clans mailbag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram for any of the questions that you may have or the YouTube comment section down below, and all the links are in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.